Hey, you know what I realized? After all these years, I have never given a tour of my personal rig, of uh, the computer I built. So, let's do that real quick. I guess I should show you guys that. So, this is a custom build. It's in a old IBM case, uh, IBM Think Center case. I saw this online years ago, probably seven years ago, and I just thought it was really cool. I liked it. Um, it's been through a few moves, so it's a little more beat up than it used to be. So it had all the original IBM parts in it, so I gutted it, and that's where I built my first PC. It's out of this case, and I still have it. So these USB ports here do not work. They are a very old connection, because this is Windows XP era case. Uh, it had a Intel Pentium 4 in it. Um... So we, I upgraded it to a 6600K, um, 32 gigs of RAM, I believe, and it was a RX um, 460, 40, yeah, 460, really cheap graphics card. It was a budget build. Um, so you can see the original <laughs> Intel Pentium 4. Intel Core i5, and then we have a Intel i7 night gen, a 9700K is what is currently in this. Um, I did have a Radeon card that has now been replaced. So, yeah, I think this case is really cool. Let's go ahead and move to the inside. Also, the activity lights do work. I was able to uh, splice those into the board, and the power button does work as well. Not the original disk drive, I installed this LG M, uh, M disk in here. Floppy drive does not work, but I would like to get that to work someday. Alright, let's get this here. We're going to drop this. So I had it open because I just replaced the power supply in it. Um, so I guess we'll start with the board. We have a gigabyte volt board, a uh, micro ATX. Um, that's the only board that fits in this in this uh, case, and I have an Intel i7 um, 9700K, and it it's okay. It works fine. More powerful than I need it to be. Even though I would like to upgrade to something newer. Um, just installed this a uh, few weeks ago. Got a deal on this NVIDIA RTX 3070 reference card got it on ebay perfect condition came out of a mining rig it works perfectly fine got this for four hundred dollars all g skill ram in there um i got the red ram when i first built it and unfortunately all they do is like rgb so that's what i uh, ended up with but got a decent deal at micro center installed later on installed a nzxt fan kind of pull some air in there have a cooler master uh cooler, the uh, black edition, and a Samsung NVMe drive, and what else we got going on, <laughs> um, two hard drives, and this disk drive, and just installed, installed the Seasonic drive, a 750 watt gold, um, we'll see how that works, my other one was only 430 watts, so it it couldn't really handle, it was right on the edge of handling this uh, RTX 3070. This is a fan I pulled out of another like old compact machine. It's probably 15 years old. So it still works though, but thinking about replacing it. And uh, there's the back of it, there's the IO, all normal. Well, that lines up just fine with that graphics card. But yeah, it's a, it's a great PC, and it's not the easiest case to build in. It's actually really difficult, especially with this here. Um, and then we got some airflow restriction with this bracket here, but I, that's riveted in. I can't remove it, so the air gets sucked in from the bottom there. And then goes through, out through there. The only way I could orient, orientate this uh, power supply was with the fan up. So there is a little bit of a gap in there for airflow. 
um, but these Seasonic power supplies supposedly don't really run their fans that often at all. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. And I've never had a modular power supply. It is really nice, um, to, uh, have one, because you don't have a whole bunch of extra cable. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I think that's about it. It has 46 gigs of RAM, which is, you know, a weird number, but that's what I ended up with. And it is a powerful, complete computer. Probably not the best airflow, especially with this graphics card in here. It does get hot now with this card in here. You didn't before with that tiny card. Um, so, I, like I said before, I am looking to replace this. But it's kind of an odd size. And I can only fit a certain size fan. So, we'll get that figured out. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. That's my, uh, that's my weird build. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, comment below, and subscribe if you want.